Dealing with a global pandemic this past year has certainly been tough, but there are some steps we can take to help restore our well-being. Here's Dr. James Rouse with the Human Grace Project. Hello, it's James with the Human Grace Project. This past week, we had a great question come in from a high school student who simply asked, you know, given all we've been through, does that change our brain? And if it does, what can we do to hopefully bring more health or restore our emotional and structural well-being? Well, yes, unfortunately, many of us went through a lot of things that did have an effect on our brain and our emotional well-being. The good news is that there are three things that science tells us that we can do about it. Number one, listening to music that you love or singing out loud. Number two, spending time outdoors, particularly the greener the space, the better it is for our mind and our brain. And number three, just before bed, yoga, meditation, or prayer. Whatever you love to do, just a few minutes before bedtime, literally overnight acts as a support system. So the following morning, we wake up more resilient, more empowered, and more purposeful to take on the day. And that's what the Human Grace Project is really all about.